Seaforth and I am meeting with uh, Lorenda from the Goddard Wellness Center. She is an osteopathic manual therapist and she's going to be sharing with us a little bit of information on what that is, uh, how it's beneficial to not just those that are going to the gym or you know active in general but all of us, what it is, um, some differences between uh, the different practices and just give us a lowdown on how it can help. Lorenda, so, uh, let's have an intro. Who okay. are you? I don't know. Where are we? Yes. Yeah, my name is Lorenda Maskant, and I have been a massage therapist for about 14 years now. And I graduated from um, osteopathic manual therapy school about two years ago. So I am transitioning from massage therapy into osteopathy. That's amazing. That's a, that's a trek, hey? A lot yeah. of different things, right? But they all kind of work together. Yeah. It's amazing. Can you tell us a little bit about what is osteopathic manual therapy? You know, we hear about it. Uh, we know it's a good thing, but what is it? How would you describe it? Yeah, so osteopathic manual therapy um, considers the whole body and how all of the different areas or parts of your body are interrelated and connected to each other and um, how, how each area of the body affects the other areas of the mm -hmm. body. Totally. And so it really sees um, pain as almost more of a symptom and immobility or areas that aren't moving well are the, um, are the problem areas, mm -hmm. if, if we could say yes. that. Yeah. yeah. Yes, like um, osteopathic manual therapy, so it takes an account, into account the whole body, and that's so important because we're not just an arm or a shoulder or a knee, it's all connected, yes. right? Yeah, so when you're able sure. to meet with someone and you know, this is where I'm feeling it in my shoulder, but knowing, well, what else is going on? I think that's tremendously beneficial um, by treating, yeah, the whole body as a whole. That's yeah. very cool. Very, yeah, very, cool. very important. Yes, so yeah. important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I guess that's how it can be a little bit different from um, massage therapy yeah. or physio or chiropractic mm -hmm. is um, each, each discipline has their specific thing that they work mm -hmm. on. Um, and, and yeah, looking at, you know, looking at more areas than, than just the, mm -hmm. the area of pain, but, um, not really considering the whole body. Yes. And so then if, if we think of which areas, um, like each discipline is, is specific to a certain thing in your body, mm -hmm. then we would say osteopathy is specific to fascia. Or Ooh, I love no. Fascia. Then we could say that osteopathic manual yes. therapy <laughs> is is most focused on mm -hmm. fascia, yeah. and um, fascia um, has been described to me as a continuous mm -hmm. sheet of saran wrap that goes from the top of your head to the very bottoms of your feet, and it wraps every muscle cell, it wraps every cell, it, it wraps every organ, mm -hmm. every muscle, and it's what connects us all together and it's what what gives our body shape often mm -hmm. people think that the muscles and the bones give our body shape but it's actually the fascia right. um, and fascia is super important because everything in your body travels through the fascia mm -hmm. our, our fluids are in our fascia our blood vessels our our nerves everything is in fascia so if we have um, tight and restricted fascia then nothing can work work as effectively mm -hmm. as it was meant to work yeah. so fascia is really important and given that it's it's continuous from the top of our heads to the bottoms of our feet that's how we all the different parts of our body are interrelated yeah. so you can have a sprained ankle and that and that um, injury and the tension in the fascia from your ankle that tension slowly travels all the way up your mm -hmm. leg and then it's just how our fascias are connected yeah. it can affect your opposite shoulder right that's just an example yeah that's um that's a, a common a common I example say, that we right? like to use yeah. so yeah you go um you you come into a, a manual therapist with shoulder pain and they work on your shoulder they work on your neck they work on mm -hmm. your back but until you address that restriction and that chronic injury mm -hmm. in your ankle 
your shoulder is not really going to resolve itself. Yeah, so right? It's, and that's uh, a really good example of, yeah, you know, we have to find the things that work for us and go forth and do that, right? Yeah. Um, and that really, you know, segues into the next sort of, um, you know, conversation piece is, well, we kind of answered it, you know, the benefit of seeing an osteopathic uh, manual therapist in terms of, you know, being active within the gym or just our everyday life. Um, you know, being active doesn't mean just going to the gym or having a personal trainer. It means, you know, gardening, doing laundry, housework, playing with yeah. your kids, right? And I'm sure we've all, you know, twisted an ankle or hurt our shoulder, but then something else happens, right? So what are some ways, again, I think we kind of answered it, but ways that those that are active can benefit from this sort of manual therapy? What are some ways that you've noticed maybe in your practice or that um, you would share? Yeah, a, lo a lot of, I always think of like some of the power lifting mm -hmm. um, that we do in the gym and um, you know, you, you can't quite get your overhead squat because your shoulders, yeah, shoulders are a big one, right? Everyone really watching shoulders <laughs> back, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a and, great and example. So, yeah, um, being, able, being able to get your shoulders to rotate that way yeah. to do a, a really good back squat or overhead squat mm -hmm. that means that yeah your your spine has to be moving well your your scapular your mm -hmm. shoulder blades have to have to be moving well and you you have to be using your ankles effectively yeah. back to the back to the ankles going all the way up mm -hmm. to the shoulders if you don't have your stance well supported and and yeah and then your knees are collapsing in um you're not going to yeah. be able to execute a yeah, a, a, a an overhead back. squat or, or, or something yes. like that. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. so it, it really all ties in together at the gym. Yeah. And if you're wondering why you can't do, you know, a certain or a specific move, it it could be something other than what you're what you're thinking yes. is the problem. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. and I think yeah. that's really important to you know remember is it's you know, if something's challenging, it's maybe just we're not, you know, great at it yet, maybe need more practice, or there could be, yeah, some restrictions somewhere and maybe not in the same spot that we thought, right? So visiting, you know, your um, osteopathic manual therapist, they can help you do that. Um, but in closing, is there any other, you know, nuggets of knowledge or, um, you know, what would you tell someone who's thinking of booking an appointment, but they're just not sure? Like, any last comments there, uh, Lorenzo? Yeah. In a lot of ways, it, it is really um, challenging to explain mm -hmm. what osteopathic manual treatment is or looks yeah. like. It's it's super gentle. Um, it's a, a big part of osteopathy as well. Is is not never imposing anything mm -hmm. on the body. We never want to force or push or or um, make anything happen. It really is working with your body. Mm -hmm. um, working with your nervous system so that you're you're uh, supporting your body to reset itself mm -hmm. and and supporting your nervous system to make that correction and then we say that um, a, a correction that the body makes the body keeps mm -hmm. and so you don't have to keep coming in repeatedly to have the same technique done over and over again because mm -hmm. if if all is is working well then um, your body has made the correction and your body will keep the correction. I love that. What did you just call that again? If the body makes a correction, it'll keep the correction? A correction sure. that the body makes, the body keeps. That's because good. the, body, yes. the yeah. body sees fit to change itself, yep. so that's where it wants to be. Your yeah. body always wants to be neutral. Yes. Your body always wants to be balanced. Yeah. But sometimes, for so many different reasons, it yeah. just can't get back to yeah. where it wants to be and yeah. so then with some support as opposed to force that's mm -hmm. that's yeah one of the beautiful things about osteopathy is, say, is it doesn't yeah. force it yeah. it always facilitates your body oh, to amazing. facilitates your nervous system yeah. to to help itself mm -hmm. yeah totally it's like if kids don't want to eat vegetables, well, I can't really force them. <laughs> no, <laughs> the same with the body, right? I don't know if that's a good example, but yeah. um, that's perfect, Lorenda. So um, how can people get a hold of you? Is it easiest just to call the office? Um, how can they get a hold of you to book, a, book an appointment? Um, they can um, contact me directly. Mm -hmm. We'll put um, that in the comments and in the yeah. description. Okay. But contact you directly Great. is good, so we can yeah. put all that there. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that's all I have for you, but I know that... Um, 
you know, we answered a lot of questions here and really shed light on uh, the practice of osteopathic manual therapy. Um, it's so a It is a mouthful, <laughs> yes. Uh, so comment yeah. below if you have questions or, um, you know, are wondering anything. And then, of course, if you're in the area and you would like to book an appointment with Loretta, um, we can definitely set you up there. So thank you so much, Loretta. Well, thanks, Kelly. Thanks. This is fun.